Hello and welcome or welcome back to the Spa Strong Podcast. We're so happy you are here with us today. Yeah. Thank you for joining us for another episode. If you are loving the Spa Strong Podcast, go ahead and leave us a five-star review and share this amazing podcast to help other beauty pros like yourself. Okay, so what are we going to talk about today? Uh, homelessness. It's a story of... It was a, it was a, it was a cold winter night. A tragic tale of what do they say a cautionary tale so cautionary tale of um my past all right here's the thing if you've been listening to this podcast for any period of time then you probably know that when i opened my first spa i went into it basically thinking that i knew everything knowing absolutely nothing eyes wide shut and I ended up having to move into my car within four months of opening my doors because I did not have enough clients to be able to afford both my apartment and my studio. That I wasn't willing to give up on my, my business. And so I opted to move into my car instead so that I could still find a way to make my business work, which I did. I was able to turn things around. But one of the reasons... Was that I, I mean, like I said, I didn't have the clients. I was not getting the right attention from the right people Mm. and not in quantities great enough for me to actually fill my books. There you go. So why, why do we need attention? Oh man. In the words of great Grant Cardone, uh, if nobody knows your money can't flow you. Attention is currency. Period. Even negative. Even negative attention is currency. Even negative. Yeah. You'd rather people <laughs> yeah, you know rather. you exist, whether they like you or not, than have no idea that you're out there. Uh, absolutely. Okay. So people can't book with you if they don't know that you exist. So it's really important for you to be putting yourself and your business in front of the people who are looking for your services, right? So that you can get the right people's attention in the right moment when they're actually interested in the services that you provide so that they get on your books and you can turn one-time clients into lifetime clients. So how do you do that? How do you get the attention of the right people at the right time? With using an amazing platform called Skimming. Oh, I love hearing you say that. Okay, y'all, I am so excited. A few of you may know this, but not all of you. I have now co-founded a tech company and it is called Skimit. Skimit is a social media efficiency tool that allows you to never miss what matters on socials through the use of keyword and key phrase notifications. What does this mean? I want you to imagine for a moment that, um, well, many of you probably don't have to imagine this, but you're a, a beauty business owner right? And you are using social media to try to find more clients. So you're on, we'll say you're in all these Facebook groups. The average person is in 30 Facebook groups. Yeah, that's wild. That's a lot of Facebook groups. That's a lot of potential clients. But how do you navigate all of those groups and all of those random conversations that are happening in there? Like if you're inside of the Seattle Moms Facebook group, Do you have time to monitor it for hours and hours and hours every day to see if somebody happens to mention like, you know, lash extension services that you offer? No, you don't have time for that. And a lot of times in these Facebook groups also, if you post and you're like, hey, I want to introduce myself. I'm an esthetician. This is what I offer. You can book with me anytime. Then the admins of the group will actually take your post down. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's too salesy. Mm Mm-hmm. But if somebody comments, like, let's say one of the members of the group is like, hey, um, I have an event coming up and I am interested in getting my lashes done. Does anyone have suggestions? If you comment on that and you say, oh, actually, I'm a lash artist and I'd love to, you know, get you booked, send me a DM. They won't take that down Hmm. because now you're just responding to an inquiry. So you have the time to just be constantly scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and hoping that you find an inquiry that's relevant to you. No, your time is so valuable as a business owner. There's so much 
other things that you need to be doing. And the sad thing is that on average, business owners are spending anywhere from six to 16 hours a week on social media trying to grow their businesses. Think about what you can be doing with that time. Whether you're a real estate agent, whether you're a, a beauty business owner, construction, whatever, you get all of that time back to actually live because yeah. Skim It is taking care of the like getting its hands dirty for you. Yes. Okay. So let's break down how Skim It works exactly so that yeah. we can further this point. So you're going back to the lash artist beauty business owner example. So you you get Skim It and um. You get it inside of your Facebook groups that you're a part of, which skim, it has to be approved by the admin, but we will show you exactly how to present it to the admin. Like we'll give you exactly the message to send to the admin so that they will approve the use of skim it inside of the Facebook group, for example, like focusing on Facebook groups for now. Um, so you get it approved inside of all these amazing groups that you're a part of. And then you tell skim it, Hey, I want to be notified if anybody uses the word lashes, lash extensions, uh, strip lashes, mascara, uh, you know, those kinds of things. And then you get to tell skim it whether or not you want to be notified in real time in the exact moment when somebody uses one of those key phrases or keywords, or if you're like, I'm a very busy CEO, there's a lot on my plate. I need to have boundaries around my schedule. So I only do social media from 9am to 10am every morning. And that is it. Cool. Skim it will send you the notifications at 9 a.m. in the morning so that you're in control of your social media time, right? But let's say that you decide I want to be notified in real time. Uh, Sally Sue inside of the Seattle Moms Facebook group, she says, hey, I have this event. I'm looking for a lash artist or I'm interested in trying lashes. Does anybody have suggestions? Skim it tells you immediately boom, Sally Sue in this group use this word. You can look at that, you can respond be the first person to respond, which that's the most important thing exactly. is being the first one to respond to it. And now Sally Sue will be able to book a consultation with you right away. She has her demand, like her ask met immediately. That shows great customer service on your end, by the way. And then she is able to have this incredible experience with you. And now because she met you in the Facebook group, when she posts about it later on in that same Facebook group, oh, look at how gorgeous my lashes were. Uh, Jenny, who's a member of this Facebook group, she did them. Now you're going to get more clients off of that inside of that group anyway. Yeah. But do you see how now you've saved tons of time to where you are not having to do all of this scrolling, hoping that you'll happen upon a relevant post? Skim it will just bring anything relevant to you. Oh my goodness. So you're going to save time and you're going to make bank. Thank you. That's fucking crazy. So let's, let's break this down. Okay. So let's say for example, um, my phone, we're going to do some math thing, some math thing. All right. So, uh, the average business owner is spending anywhere from six to 16 hours. So let's say you're spending 14 hours a week on social media and through the use of skim it, it gets you down to only two hours a week, two effective hours a yeah. week on social media, because now that whole two hours in, during the week, you're responding to relevant conversations and getting people actually on your books because they're asking for what you offer, right? So now you have 12 hours freed up what are you going to do with that time? Let's say, for example, you are, um, you're a, a wax specialist and you're offering $65, 15-minute Brazilian waxes. So if you have 12 hours now freed up, uh, you could take more clients. How many more clients? So you could do four in an hour if you're doing 15 minutes. Well, we'll be generous. We'll say three. We'll say you do three in an hour. So 12 hours times three clients per hour. That's 36 people times $65 each. You've just made an additional $2,340 a week. Not even counting. That's just in the time saved. That's not counting the people that you've been able to book through Skimit because they're bring, Skimit is bringing the inquiries to you. Wow. The holy grail. Are we not so excited about this? Are movie? we not entertained? Are you not entertained? That's my favorite movie of all time, by the way, Gladiator. Okay, so how do you use this tool? You have to wait. Yes. <laughs> you have to join the wait list 
because it is almost ready, y'all. The end of the year. Skim it is coming for you and I cannot wait for you all to start using it. So what you need to do is scroll down to the episode notes and sign up for the wait list so that you'll be the first to be able to hear once Skim it is available and you can start using it right away. There is a free version all the way up to $49 a month, but the free version is fantastic. So please try it out. It's going to make such a huge impact on your business, whether you're in beauty, whether you're in real estate, whether you're a brand representative yeah. and you're wanting more people to hear about your products. Like there are so many uses for this y'all and we just can't wait for y'all to use it to save time and make more money. Yeah. It's going to be fantastic. It'll be amazing. Thank you so much. We can't wait to hear how Skim It benefits you. If you have any questions about it, please send me a DM on Instagram. That is at Melissa Ellis. Of course, that is Melissa without the apostrophe. So that will be at M-L-I-S-A-E-L-L-I-S. We're so happy that you were here with us today. Thank you for participating in this episode. Reach out to us if you have questions, but join the waitlist for Skim It, and we will see you in the next episode. <laughs> Royal <laughs> forgot where he was for a second. <laughs> he snored. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever heard you snore. That is my favorite thing. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you remember where you are? <laughs> Blink twice if you can hear me. <laughs> is like learn from my mistakes or from the mistakes Never of this person. Though. Gabby, have you heard people say a cautionary tale? Okay, thank you. So it's been decided. This is an actual phrase. Okay.